G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the perimeter of a circle, which is also known as the circumference of a circle. So before we start on this and how to work them out, I'm going to just discuss a couple of terms that you'll get when you are working with circles. So first off we have this idea of a circumference. Now there's my circle. The circumference is this distance around the outside. Okay, so from one there and all the way around is known as a circumference. And when we measure circles, there's a couple of ways that we can also measure them. We can measure them either from this point in the middle to the edge, and this here is known as the radius, or we can use another measurement where what we're looking at is, say, this whole entire distance across the circle. And this is known as the diameter. What you might realise is that the diameter is twice of the radius, okay? Because the radius is halfway across, it's, it's in the centre to the edge, there's another radius, there's a radius there and a radius there, so the radius is half of the diameter. So that's a really, really important thing that you know, because we're going to use the radius uh, to work out the circumference of the circle. And the way we do this is as follows. We're going to uh, be using, we're going to use a formula, which is, it's, there's no way around it, you just have to remember a formula to do this. And the formula is this. So the circumference equals 2 pi r. So 2 times pi times r. Now pi, pi is a number, um, it's, a, it's an irrational number, it's basically this number which is is attained by its, its dividing a circle's circumference by its diameter and its value is around about 3.141592 uh, da 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 but the easiest way that we ever usually get it is by using a calculator okay so this is one of these things you will be using a calculator for and right so I'll put a calculator up this is the type of calculator you have on your computer what about we change the view to a scientific one I'll move it across and you'll see down here pi okay so this is a calculator that comes with your computer uh, the other ones that you guys might use will have a button that looks like this and that's the way you'll get the most exact answer so some people will go to use 3.14 and they'll get slightly different answers but if you use pi the pi button you'll get the most exact answer so I'm going to work out the circumference uh, of a couple of different circles and a couple of different types of questions that you might get asked. Okay, I'll leave that formula up there. So, let's work through it. So say I have a circle here which is like this and I know that the radius is 25 centimetres. So the radius from here to here is 25 centimeters and we get asked to know what the, the the circumference is what the perimeter is so the formula we're going to use is circumference equals 2 times pi times r so this is going to be the circumference equals 2 times pi times 25 centimeters okay so I'll, I'll get the calculator up to work this out so let's work this out now uh, so we end up with 2 times pi times 25 and this equals as you'll see here 157.08 to be rounded 0 0.079 I'm going to round that 9 up to be 0 0.08 so 157.08 so our answer is this equals 157.08 0.08 what? Centimetres. Okay, so how did you go with that? What about one more of these? So, the one I'm going to ask you now, I'll keep that formula up there, is say you might be given a question that looked like this. Maybe we'll actually give you a, get you to work at the perimeter of this shape here. This is a terrible semicircle. Okay, and what I'll tell you about it is that this part here, the diameter is 20 centimetres. So how would you work out this distance around the outside, this circumference? Well, you're going to see first off that this is 
half of the circumference. So there's a couple of things we're going to work out. Half the circumference, alright, so half of C, or well this perimeter, is going to equal half of the circumference, as well as this diameter here, plus this diameter, okay? Now, this diameter is 20, so this means that the radius equals what? The radius is half the diameter, so the radius is equal to 10 centimetres. Okay, so now we've got all the information that we need to work this out. I'll move this over here, and we'll use we'll do a bit of working out over here. Okay, so first off, let's work out what C is. Now the circumference. I'll um, just looking for my pen again. This circumference, we're going to work out what half it is. So we'll work out the circumference, then we'll halve it, then we'll add it to the diameter. So the circumference equals two times pi times the radius, which is 10, so times 10 centimetres. So, let's work out what that is. Let me get the calculator back up. So, clear that. 2 times pi times 10. And that equals 62.83. So this equals 62.83 centimetres. Okay, that's our circumference, but we want half of the circumference. So our half of our circumference is this amount divided by 2. Okay, so let's just get this number here, and we'll divide it by 2. And that equals 31.42. Okay, so this equals 31.42. So this is our half circumference. Then we have to add, so we've got this measurement here, okay, then, in fact I can rub this out, I can, I can put it in here now, just to show that a little bit better, so this distance from here to here, but going around, is 31.42, and I should be putting in the units too, which is centimetres, and I'll put them in over here as well, centimetres, and so we're going to add this to our diameter, so that's fairly easy now, okay. So let's do that. I'll rub out the rest of our working so far. Um, and we're just going to add this to this. So 20 plus 31.42. We add these together and we're going to get the answer of this uh, perimeter equals 31.42 centimetres plus 20 centimetres equals 51.42. Two centimeters. So how'd you go with that? Pretty good? Hopefully uh, you're pretty good with those. That's the type of questions that you get with these, okay? So give them a go. Um, I can put up, actually I'll put up another one right now, just, just for the heck of it. Another type of question that you might get asked with these. Why not? I think the more practice we do, the better. And look, if you're fine with these, you might already flick it off and go on to the next thing. But I'll, I'll go through a harder example now of something you may get with these. Okay, so say you were asked to work out this particular shape here. We had a doorway which had a half arch. Okay, and then from there we have a doorway and it's like the bottom of a rectangle there. This here is four centimeters. This from here to here is 12 centimeters. Okay, so from here to here. So Let's work out the perimeter here, okay, so we're going to be using circumference to work all this out. So again, what we have here is a half circumference, okay, so this is, um, this one is half of the circumference. Now half the circumference, so circumference equals 2 pi r, so r, as you see here, is going to be, this is the diameter, which is 4, so the radius is going to be half of this, which is 2, so this equals 2 times pi times 2. So this equals, let's get our calculator, so clear, 2 times pi times 2 equals 12.57, 12.57, this should be in centimetres and this should be in centimetres, so that's our, that's, that would be a full circle, we're going to be half of this. 
So half of C equals 12.57 divided by 2 equals 6.28 equals 6.28 centimetres. Okay, so I'll rub this out here and then we can work out this perimeter here. So we have this here as 6.28 centimetres. So our perimeter is just going to be all these added together. We have another unknown side over here, so let's put him on as well. This side's going to be the same as this side, so this is going to be equal to 12 centimetres. So let's work out our perimeter. The perimeter equals, I'm going to start here, 6.28 centimetres plus 12 plus 4 plus 12. And this is going to equal, let's have a look, uh, we'll move this down here so we can see what we're doing. S clear that, 6.28 plus 12 plus 4 plus 12. And this equals 34.28. Okay, so this equals 34.28 centimetres. And that's our answer. So how'd you go with those? I hope that was some help. Okay, um, that's the type of questions you get with those uh, circumference ones. Anyway, see you next time.